everyone who knows that I exist is looking at this Iowa situation. They're going, I can't believe the federal government is rigging elections because I think what happened is that John Alexander got at least one delegate and it caused a freak out situation where no one wants to allow him to have a delegate. So they have to, Oh, it's the app. The app is the problem. When really, you have 99 people on the app. It's a super easy app. Everyone knows the app isn't the problem. Because all you have to do is make a phone call. So everyone knows the United States government is rigging this election right now. That knows I exist. But everyone that doesn't know I exist, do you know what their reaction is? Who's Pete Buttigieg? I like Pete Buttigieg. I want to go learn about Pete Buttigieg. But Pete Buttigieg, what is his reaction? Even though he knows the real results problem. He knows I exist because he's from this enemy spy organization. But so what is his result? His, his response? He doesn't know what you're talking about. Democracy just got completely thrown out. We completely threw away democracy in the United States. I don't know what you're talking about. I am now involved in throwing out democracy. Why? Because I'm connected to this Harvard conspiracy where every single person on the Supreme Court is from Harvard. Every person on the Supreme Court is either Catholic or Jewish. And Mayor Pete is from the Catholic college capital of the world, Notre Dame. So his dad was a professor there. So we're all sitting here going, wow, the media and the government are working together to overthrow democracy while we're all sitting here going, okay, this is fine. Who controls communications? Well, Mayor Pete's best friend, Mark Zuckerberg. So you can't even talk to each other about something if he tells you you're not allowed to talk, talk to each other. And so now I have come out and said, everyone needs to switch to TikTok, TikTok Snapchat, and Tumblr because they are not involved with this government conspiracy because... Well, but it's not so much, it's, it's, it's a, it's a Jewish conspiracy because everyone who controls the media, who's not reporting the truth in the media, Jewish, but okay. So how is this possible in the United States of America? How can the government literally say you, you're not allowed to vote. We will take, we will change your vote in the results. How is the government allowed to do that? I, I, I still haven't figured it out. I mean, they're all concerned about following the Constitution, right? That's what they talk about. But then they have completely thrown out the Constitution. Like, the, like everything that America stands for, completely thrown it out. Why? Because you're trying to get more money for the Jewish community. Like, it's unbelievable how there's this group of people that, like, okay... They work together to get money for themselves and for certain people. And then they act like they're for everyone because they're, they're, they're great at politics. But what am I? Terrible at politics. What am I good at? Actually helping people. I mean, really. So if you think about like the reality of me being president versus someone like Buttigieg, where Buttigieg is a liar, straight up, everyone knows it. All right, so how much was I censored until I got back on YouTube? Like, did no one even know I existed? I'm really confused about that. Because this is the United States. And then we have to be afraid of certain servers, like Facebook servers, because if you have a Facebook app, are you already hacked? You're already hacked. The moment you connect to that app, they are hacking you. But doesn't mean they're using the hacks, but they have their hooks in you. And I don't think you understand. They have persistence if you have that app. So do we want someone that's completely breaking the law, picking the next president? Because that's what they're doing. That, that Like when you only have Facebook, I mean, you no, know, we have Twitter too. Twitter's small, small potatoes compared to Facebook. So Elizabeth Warren is from Harvard Law School. 
will will I agree not to have a single Harvard lawyer in my in my administration? Yes. I will not have a single person from Harvard. There are law schools everywhere. Can I go find another lawyer? Of course I can. Could I pick Amy Klobuchar as my vice president? Sure, but she's going to have to tell the truth. I'm not going to have anybody that's in my administration that is sitting there lying right now. Saying, oh yeah, we had a, we had a phone app problem. Still, three days later, we're still trying to figure out how to, how to, how to count the votes. Don't know how to count the votes. I mean, wait, don't, I mean, like, how, how is it that hard? Are people from Iowa bad at counting? I know y'all a bunch of hicks. Bunch of having trouble ha counting people. That's what the Iowans are. They're like, no, we're not real hicks. We're actually the intellectual farmers. <laughs> That's what they are. They're very smart, smart farmers. I know because my mother's from Iowa. I'm a veteran of the war on terror and I have literally caught terrorists. And the reason that I'm not allowed to be on the news is because I have literally caught terrorists and at least one of them was working for the government. Very famous, famous, real terrorists worked for the government. I caught him myself. Now I'm not allowed to run for election. Because, because the government murdered someone to cover it up. All right, so what else am I? Oh yeah, I'm the guy who did the moon landing's cousin. He's a professor at MIT, and <laughs> and he does not know me very well, but it shows that I can solve problems. All right, so the dictator, the dictatorship of the Harvard Law School. How's that working out? Like, does is anybody gonna stand up and say the government can't do this? Anybody? I guess not because the government controls communication. So if you don't know I exist, how can you stand up and stop them? I don't know. I don't think you can. I think, I think seriously, that's how we planned it. Because it doesn't matter if you destroy the planet too fast. Like we have a backup plan no matter what.